Greetings everyone, welcome aboard, Joseph James, SchoolTrade.com. It's June 29th, 2010, we're almost done, the biggest month of the year, 2010 so far. Here's your live team recap. We had a wonderful day in the room, one of our biggest days of the month, and of course we broke our biggest month last month, the month of May. The month of June is now the biggest month of the year, we'll talk about that in a moment. But guys, I want to remind you, right below the video, Head to our blog. The blog is a brand new page called Trade Room Resources. On that Trade Room Resources page, lots of free stuff. Most importantly, lots of terms you'll need to know to follow along with us in our live trade room. So if you want to follow along in the live trade room, especially as a free trial guest, go to the live, uh, go to the blog, click on Trade Room Resources. And of course, don't forget, guys, ask questions by posting comments on the blog. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight total trades today, guys. We took some trades on the gold. We got some Russell in there. Right, we went to the S and P yesterday, back to the Russell today. So there's two of the E minis we've traded today, uh, this week. We tossed the gold in there a little bit. We got some two steps, some waves, some breaker patterns. We even took a wave pattern on a 34 range chart today, guys. We threw pretty much everything uh, into the room this morning. 147 ticks, 1470 guys. What a great month! It kind of speaks for itself right now. 2600 bucks for the week so far. Over 70,000 for the year, and of course, 19 and change, 19,000 USD on four contracts. Only four contracts this month, guys, to grab 19,000. We did 17,000. We've now doubled the month of April. Guys, come out and join us tomorrow. We'll get a short week this week, right? Coming into a holiday weekend. So come out, spend some time with us in the room, bring your questions, and we'll keep you guys posted. What's the most important thing that happened today? Well, we had a short week. Okay, so we expect the most volume at the beginning of the week. Okay, we're closed on Friday, get a holiday weekend, so expect a lot of action Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to be tilling off. Okay, so we're trying to get all the chips off the table here before people start hitting the barbecues. Okay, well, we opened up our chart this morning and we saw wedge patterns, low, slow pace of tape. Uh, we, I'll be honest, guys, right, while you're eating your cereal this morning, eating your breakfast, watching the charts open up this morning, we were, I was thinking we were going to be in for a pretty slow day today, but we really learned a lesson today, and that is you've got to you've got to come in every day and watch these charts because sometimes it's going to look real slow in the early morning hours, but come 10 o'clock, all of a sudden you've got big patterns setting up. And we talked about that today. How one of the mistakes that I made as a new trader was I would kind of take a, a vacation day if I saw we had low volume. Well, guys, just because you come in at 7:45 or 9:30, if things are flat, then remember, guys, we're getting news at 10 o'clock and 10:30. Obama's jumping on the microphone. We've got various things that are happening at 11 o'clock Eastern Time, and that's what's causing these markets to move. All right, so don't take, don't, don't make the same mistake that I did taking a vacation day just because we didn't see good volume in the early morning hours. So we didn't really know what to expect today. We saw real sideways, flat markets, didn't know what to expect. But you know what? We trade through this. We follow our rules. We are ready, willing, able to take these trades if they show up. If they don't, hey, we'll be sitting here, we'll have some great conversation, we'll answer some good questions, a cup of green tea, right? It could be worse. But the point is, guys, we want to be ready for that market if it does pick up speed. So be prepared, and it all starts coming in at 7.45 Eastern Time every morning. So price pick up late in the morning as equities begin to tumble. We had, I think they said, the third biggest day of the year for equity drop today. So, of course, that had the futures markets following suit late in the morning. And let's get it started. We get a bunch of trades to look at today, guys. The first trade we took today was on gold. Now, you can see, we always know we're in for a good day when our first couple trades happen before 9.15. So we had one pattern here, 8.53 on gold. That's the first one of the morning. And you can see, guys, this is just your classic two-step pattern short. Short-term trend up. We're going to bounce off overhead resistance. Now, remember, guys, a two-step pattern is a reversal pattern off these highs. Doesn't need to necessarily be the high of day. It can be any overhead resistance. So we're going to come up. We bounce off resistance. We're going to mark up a swing low level here. And then you see we bounce right below that swing low that's your first trade of the day 37.6 and a two step short that's a reversal trade okay coming off those highs there we took two off at 5 one off at 2 that's 14 total ticks guys 140 USD so at 10 bucks per tick that puts 140 bucks in our pocket to get our morning started off now we like 140 dollars right 14 ticks is nice that's one half of a full stop. So we've got ourselves in you know a relatively comfortable position here now going into nine o'clock hour. We had to wait now until after the nine thirty US open, but then all of a sudden the Russell started moving on us. And guys, you know these patterns are, are universal. They'll work on any mark you guys throw at it. Earlier on this week we were trading the S P. Now we're over on the Russell here just before ten o'clock. Now we had 
10.30 news this morning, right? It was a Tuesday, so we had to be careful about the 10 o'clock news. We also had, uh, was I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 10 o'clock news this morning. We had to be careful. This was just before that 9.55 alarm went off for that 10 o'clock news. All right, guys, so we're coming down. Short-term trend down. Now, look at, the, look at the trend here. I noticed my trend because of the slope of my trigger line. Now, there's a trigger line on every single chart that I use, no matter what the time frame. Okay, slow time frames. Fast time frames, that trigger line, it tells a story, guys. Remind me to talk about that tomorrow in our live trade room, about how important the slope of that trigger line is and where you can use it on any type of time frame to really give you an easy definition of the trend. Okay, so slope down trigger line, we're trending down. I'm looking for a breaker pattern. I mark up a swing low here as we break below the support at 23 half. I'm going to bounce off that support just a little bit as the buyers come in to take a little bit of control. The sellers, though, are in control. They bring it right back down, and we look for that break of that swing low. Okay, on the Russell symbols, the TF off the intercontinental, the ICE exchange, 22.3 is the fill, 2 off at 4, 1 off at 8. That's 17 ticks or 170 USD. Okay, so coming down on the lows, continuing with the short term trend, the downside. That's our second trade of the morning, guys. Put another 17 ticks in our pocket here. So now we've got one full stop loss. We're covered now. 14 ticks in the first trade, 17 ticks on, on the uh, second trade here. We're going to the 10 o'clock hour now. We've got to come out of 10 o'clock after the news here. But now we've got ourselves in a position where now we can really kind of start to stretch ourselves out a little. We can let these trades run a little bit because now we've got ourselves enough cushion here so we can give us a little bit of a breather. So we're going to gold now, 10 o'clock, coming out of the 10 o'clock news here, so we're getting a little bit of movement right now, right? Speed of the tape picks up. We've got a lot of that price action coming off consumer sentiment. Now, consumer confidence at 10 o'clock this morning was a roller coaster ride. Remember that, guys? This morning at 10 o'clock, there was a lot of things moving here. It was one of the third lowest consumer confidence readings we've had in this year, so it was, it was kind of a major announcement this morning on gold at 10 o'clock. Now, with that news pushing these markets around, trend is up. See the slope of that trigger line? Upward trend. We're going to break above overhead resistance. Now, remember, this resistance level on gold is automatically placed for me, guys. Right? This is all done for our, with our indicators. We're going to mark up that swing high with the indicator. Then we're going to break above that swing high. That's a breaker pattern long. We just saw the same thing on the Russell, the opposite side. Right? We're going to go through. Mark up that swing high. Break above that swing high. And there is your breaker pattern long entry right there. Make sure momentum confirms. 34 was the fill. Two off at four, one off at eight, one off at one, another 17 ticks. So, guys, we're, we're bringing in 14, 17, 17 ticks at a time here, guys. We'll take this all day long. Whenever we hit two targets, we're always making double the money we make on just those plus four scratches. So here, of course, after 10 o'clock, we're getting moved around by the news, looking pretty good at this point. Back in the Russell now, 15 minutes later. 1018 here. Guys, this is the same pattern we've been taking the whole time here, right? Two-step pattern long off the low of day, right? We know this pattern. This is one of the patterns we love to see. Now, this is one of those situations we, we look for here. Now, watch. Here's my low of day. Now, see how we come down? We bounce off this low, and look at this one, two, three, or four tick new lower low. Guys, when you see that bounce like this, Okay, it almost looks like it just makes a two or three tick new lower low right there. See that? When we see that happen, it's almost like the sellers are giving it everything they've got. Well, guys, what happens if those sellers are now exhausted, right? The buyers can feel that. The buyers know that's happening. They're going to step in now, grab this price. And, of course, we expect those sellers to have given everything and exhausted that position to the downside. So now mark up the swing high, break above that swing high. We knew we had a trend line here to worry about, so we were only going for a little scalp here. But we take it, obviously, if it blew right through it, right? That's kind of the idea here. We're going to grab this trade, the two-step pattern long, knowing that we have just barely enough room right here because this trend line to grab the plus four. And then, hey, if we can get it to go plus four and then possibly run right through it, we can go plus eight, right, and plus 20. The bottom line is I can qualify this trade as long as I've got enough to get to that plus four because then my stop gets moved up to my point of entry plus one. And as you can see what happens, the market rolls over and takes me out. So two off at four, stop up to plus one, two off at plus one, that's 10 ticks or 100 USD. Okay, guys, the pattern here, though, the, the kind of the key here is, is this new lower low right here, this one tick lower low right there, right? See that bounce? That's the giveaway. That makes it worthwhile to give this two-step pattern a chance, even though we had that tight quarters there in the upside. All right, guys, good learning lesson there on that two-step pattern long, bouncing off the low of day. Common pattern. Let's stay on the Russell, though. Okay, continuing on the Russell. 